What is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to the channel. Did you guys see that awesome reveal for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War yesterday? That was such an absolutely amazing way to finish off a week-long Easter egg hunt. And now, all we gotta do is wait for August the 26th to come next week for us to really see what's gonna be happening inside of Verdansk. I'm super duper excited, but the main part of this video is not gonna be about that. It's gonna be talking about free loot for watching Call of Duty esport games. If you guys have been following the channel for a while now you know that i'm a huge fan and supporter of the industry and i highly recommend everybody getting involved and supporting if you have anything to do with the call of duty scene but like i said you can get free loot by watching call of duty esports because yesterday was the start of the cdl championship games for call of duty modern warfare and the way you can get free loot is by watching the championship weekend games which are going to be starting on august the 29th through the 30th the playoffs are actually starting right now and they're going to be running for a couple more days till the 23rd. And then on the 29th to the 30th is going to be the championship weekend. But on screen now are the rewards that are going to be given out as you check off a certain amount of time that you spend watching the stream, which must only be watched either on the Call of Duty app or on CallofDutyLeague.com, which is going to be linked down below. But these items consist of sprays, double XP, and double weapon XP tokens, and so much more. On Championship Sunday, after watching for 30 minutes, you get the sick-looking CDL Champ Knife Blueprint, which is probably going to be the main item that everybody is going to be wanting. But also throughout Sunday, there's going to be a mysterious drop coming, which we don't know what that could be just yet. Hopefully something cool. But now on the day before Champ Sunday, on Saturday, there's going to be a randomized code drops, which I believe are going to be the Champ bundle inside of the Call of Duty store. So if you're lucky enough to be the first one to enter this code, then you get the customized CDL Champs pack, which consists of three CDL Champs blueprints for the M4, the HDR, and the M19. Two weapon charms, which are the ring each player is going to be receiving that wins the event. The CDL Champs trophy. 55 signature stickers, which are the signatures of each pro player, which is pretty dang cool if you ask me. Three calling cards, three emblems, and then three champ sprays. The cost of this is $15, but again, you have the opportunity to receive this bundle absolutely for free if you can enter the code to drop fast enough. Lastly, at the bottom of the page, we have the rewards that you can earn starting right now. And these are all different sprays and emblems, but depending on the final four teams, you'll receive customized calling cards for whoever is in the final four. So yeah, those are the rewards. And now here's how you participate. All you gotta do is sign in with your Activision ID either on the COD Companion app or on CallofDutyLeague.com. And then you gotta link your PlayStation, Xbox, or Battle.net account. After that, you're all set. You just got to sign into your account and you'll see the home rewards meter increase to your next item. Again, I highly recommend everybody tuning into the event. COD Champs is pretty much like the NBA Finals or the NFL Super Bowl, except it's for Call of Duty. It just kind of sucks that this is the first ever COD Champs event now that the league is franchised that's running uh, online instead of LAN because of COVID-19. And because of that, some of the pro players are already running into issues like Quavo who plays for Optic. He had to be subbed out because of connectivity issues and a Bruce or a Dashy replaced him in the series, which has to be kind of annoying if you think about it as a player perspective. Because like these players have been working for this all year round and some of them may not even be able to play due to connection issues. It's something so simple like that. It's kind of like an NBA player that's been working all year long to get to the finals or the playoffs. They're finally there, but then they get hurt and cannot play. So um, that has to suck as a player perspective. A lot of people are also upset because they couldn't run the event on LAN. Or maybe the league could have started up a bubble like what the NBA has done. But the amount of money that has to be put into that is insane. Like we're talking probably close to 100 million if not more because you got to pay for player screenings, food, um, services like the hotels, entertainment. Like the list goes on and on and it has to be somewhere close to that amount. Like it's crazy and I, I think the safest decision was to just do everything online. Maybe they could have ran a socially distanced event, but I don't know. I guess the league just didn't want to take a risk of running that event and possibly risk a mini COVID outbreak, which, I mean, if you think about it, would really paint the league and Call of Duty in a super bad image. I don't know, but let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comments. Who are you rooting for to win COD Champs? And also let me know your thoughts about these free rewards. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be kept up to date with the latest Call of Duty Warzone tips and tricks and black ops cold war news love y'all so so much have a great rest of the day till next time i'll see y'all later